Greetings! Today I'm going to be removing the sound deadening from under my bonnet on my Focus RS, but first, let's have a little chat. Okay, before I remove it, I want to have a little chat, and the reason that why is that if you go onto any forums or groups on the internet um, where this topic comes up, there's always a couple of people who say, oh, you shouldn't remove that or else it'll burn off your paint or it'll set fire to your engine or whatever. So I want to give you a few reasons why you shouldn't believe those people. So to begin with, this is quite a significant point. Mountain themselves, um, they obviously sell aftermarket induction kit um, and that kit makes up part of various other kits that they provide and they install and indeed Ford, certain Ford dealers who are Mountain Pro dealers also install those kits and one of the instructions on those kits, I think it's like the, the final instruction, is to remove the sound deadening. And there are two reasons that Mountain say that you should remove the sound deadening. The first is to provide proper clearance for the intake. I guess it's just a bit chunkier so it sits up a little more and otherwise it would hit off this. And the second reason is to hear more of your intake noises because with an aftermarket intake they're a little bit more amplified. If you remove this you can actually hear it so they say you should do it to hear it. So if my tuner's telling you to do this and they're doing it themselves on customer cars it's extremely unlikely that they're going to do that if that's going to cause a bunch of damage and be a hazard. It seems unlikely. Another point is that the mountain induction kit is warranty friendly from Ford, which means that it's Ford approved. And like I said before, some Ford dealers will be installing these as well. So if Ford are installing these kits themselves, part of which is of course removing it, and Ford themselves are giving the green light for warranty on these items, there's absolutely no way that they would be doing that if it's gonna cause problems. Because of course, if they did, and it did cause problems, then Ford would be liable to fix it under warranty. And of course, as of right now, all of the focuses, unless they're ridiculously modified, are under warranty until like April 2019. So Ford are not gonna do that. So those are the reasons why not to believe those prob probably trolls or just paranoid people on the internet. So all that being said, let's go on to removing it. Okay, so it's held on by these little clippy things and they kind of just like compress. You can sort of see that sort of pushing together you sort of compress and then like pry it like that like towards the direction that you press it and then the liner sh should pop out of its little hole hopefully just like that so i'll just repeat that process on all of the clips Okay, so that is the sound deadening removed, and I must say it looks pretty cool not being there. You see all these extra contours of the bonnet, which is like super duper cool. So yeah, you can probably guess one of the other reasons why I did this, as far as a mod in the future that is coming very, very soon. So I mean, if you think you know, throw a comment down below. And yeah, just a simple little video, removing this in preparation for something. Um, I'll throw up actually a little sound comparison right now of a before and after. I mean, I obviously all I, I am stock apart from the K N filter, but there should be a bit of a difference anyway. So I'll throw that up now. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more content to come very, very soon. Cheers. Goodbye.